Welcome back, fragrance lovers everywhere out there in the family of YouTube. Thanks for joining me here on my channel, Stephen Sturgill. I'll be your host for the next couple of minutes. Try to keep this short and sweet and to the point. So for the first time ever, guys, I recently sampled... This is going to be more or less a first impressions type bid. From the house of uh, inspired clones or inspired scents, uh, the house of Alexandria... We have Anubis Keys. <laughs> Anubis Kiss. So this is the infamous, famous, supposedly exact clone to Black Afghano by the Casa de Nasumato, the House of Nasumato. So this is the hash cannabis, very cannabis based fragrance and then you also get resins uh oud is supposedly in here tobacco is supposedly in here incense is supposedly in here uh woody notes whatever those may be i'm guessing somewhere between sandal cedar ebony maybe mahogany i have no idea this for me and and, and stephen of adolescence ranks black afghana as one of his all-time favorite scents and again, I have not smelled the original. I would believe it's much stronger than this. This is merely strong, whereas Black Afghano is said to be nuclear, like just beast mode. This is not beast mode. This is just uh, middling, sort of fairly strong. I wouldn't even necessarily say strong, fairly strong. But it, it, it somehow sits close to the skin. It, it doesn't just vape off with these magnificent waves like something like uh La Yuka Wam, for example by House of Rasasi but I don't know it, it's it's not great this is not something I can really just fall in love with and I would be a little bit skeptical to believe this is exactly as rich or as good as the original after all the original cost four to five times more I believe I believe four times more if I'm not mistaken, but something like that. Um, there are proponents online that swear this smells identical. Uh, I currently cannot speak to that as having never tried uh, Black Afghano, but I do intend to. This is interesting. It's okay. That hash or cannabis note is a bit too strong for my personal taste. And where I work uh, from otherwise, we get some people that come in smelling nothing but, like nothing but cannabis, uh, which is extremely odorous and pungent. Not a huge fan of, just, just with clouds and clouds of cannabis coming off the human body. Uh, for me, not a pleasant smell, but I'm not, I'm not trying to throw shade at anyone out there that may like it or love it. Uh, you like what, you know, you, you may like something that smells entirely different from what I do, but this, mm, I would much, much rather wear something like this, Wonder Oud from Comme de Garçon. <clears throat> Are there other woody <clears throat> base fragrances? That's just my two cents. This is very polarizing. It's definitely not for everybody. And, um... I'll let you guys be the judge if you think it's something that you want to wear or rock. Uh, get a small decant or a sample like I did before you invest uh, either the 60 or so US dollars required for an Alexandria. <coughs> or especially the 280 or whatever it costs for the real Black Afghana, which by the way only come in those tiny really gets on my nerves 50 mils bottles with this gigantic cap that's as big as the bottle or bigger than the bottle i find that ridiculous and just a bad leaves just a bad taste in my mouth in terms of the marketing ploy um if i were a perfume company i would always 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 offer at least the 100 mil bottle and maybe even go up to a 125 or even a 200 mils and you can price accordingly but give people the power to buy a bigger bottle. I find that by doing this, it's an artificial way of being able to charge much more and give much less product. Ha ha ha, you're busted. All of you guys out there are busted. 
Sorry for the tens. You're not off the hook either, babe. I love your fragrances, some of them, but that little 50 mils bottle, ha ha ha, I'm unto you. I'm unto all of you frag uh, companies out there thinking you can give us little tiny bitty 50 mil and 30 mil bottles and charge $300, $400 a bottle. Shame on you guys. With the exception of, you know, if it's House Roja Dove or Roger, and you're putting a real gold flake in there and the best, best ingredients money can buy, I kind of I kind of forgive you and kind of see where you're coming from. But, okay, I, a little tongue-in-cheek, but I digress. Anyways, guys, this is not for everyone. This is definitely not ever going to be my signature scent, nor even in my top 50, nor even in my top 100 of all time. Yeah, this is, eh, it's interesting, but not a whole lot better than that. Um... Uh, for me, it's a pass, but but I definitely, if you want to get your nose on it, get a decant, get a sample, spray as you will, where you will. I'll see you next time, guys. Spray often, spray well, and live life on your terms, not someone else's. Peace out. Love you guys. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for future